What's up guys, mga kabaro? Welcome back to my channel, your main chiller again. And for those who are new to my channel, please like, share, and subscribe. And hit the notification bell for my new videos. In today's vlog guys, I'm gonna show you how to prepare the bridge on departure. So yesterday, we were already done preparing the bridge prior to departure. And for those who did not watch my video, just click the link below for that video. One hour from now guys, we will depart. So enjoy and learn from this video guys. Just sit back and relax. So guys mga kabaro, we've already done preparing the bridge prior to departure yesterday. So there are only few things now need to prepare on departure time. So come with me guys, let's prepare the bridge this time. This is the sample of our free departure checklist, pilot card that you will need to fill up during the departure, including the steering gear checklist and the risk assessment that you need to prepare on departure. So guys, this is our main dish. Since we already prepared this one prior to departure yesterday, we already input the voyage plan for the next port. We will just need to update the time of arrival from the master that he received from the charterer. For example, 3.30, apply. So the speed required is 9. And then as the time changes for the departure, the speed required will also increase. check if you have a uh, latest uh, navigational warnings received from your nav text as you can see here no any latest navigational warnings so yesterday we already checked also the navigational warnings that we received from ICDIS and from NMARS at sea next is the course recorder as you can see course recorder is not recording now when you are in port so you need to switch this on by clicking this uh, one off as you can see it indicates now record RCD it means now course recorder is uh, working and recording next is the shift time you will not be worried about this one because you already adjust this one yesterday prior to departure and now you can switch on your echo sounder Then after that, we will go to switch on the navigational light here in navigational light indicator panel. Just need to switch this on, the forward massive lights, side lights, the port side lights, starboard side light, half massive light, and the stern light. As you can see, all this uh, indicator light is on. It, it is means that it is good working condition and without alarm. And also, you can switch on the signal lights if you need, especially if you have DG. You can switch on this uh, red light. And the outdoor lightning control panel, if you don't need all the lights, uh, outside you can switch this off especially when you are navigating prepare this one for departure just switch on the light for pilot ladder and deck lights also the up mooring lights and forward mooring lights for departure in any case that you will depart night time Then let's go to our Inmars at sea. If we receive some new navigational warnings or weather reports, and for now we don't have any more 
new navigational warnings and weather reports as we received yesterday and check it it is all okay and in here while you are in the radio room you can check all your radio equipments if it's still in working condition the Inmars at 1 if still synchronized and log into the designated ocean region like this one Indian Ocean region synchronize ideal which means you can receive and transmit the messages and all these parameters are okay the level of signals and also for the Inmarsat number two check parameters everything okay log in and synchronize ideal and then then you can check your MFHF DEC and set up your VHF to designated uh, channel like for this one now in 13 for the traffic traffic service and then for the VHF number 2 we can set up one two for the pilot so so that you can always listen if the pilot will call you during the departure time and also for the traffic so you need to also to keep watch the radio if, if there is somebody will call you here we can switch on the bow thruster and emergency fire pump room supply fan so that we will have enough ventilation for the bow thruster when we will use it And then we will switch on the steering gear, the two steering gear, number one and two. Now you can test your steering wheel, hard port and hard starboard so that you will know if it's still working in good condition. We will do some main engine air blow and you will not be worried about this one because the propeller will not turn it is only an air blow we will just need to follow what is the engine command now dead slow stop as you can see in the indicator main engine stop RPM is reducing up to zero and now we are done in main engine air blow. Yes, bridge second. Okay, finish main engine air blow. Transfer to bridge control. Power thruster. Ready to switch on. Thank you. The main engine control is on the bridge and ready for testing ahead in a stern propulsion. Gangway forwarding up main engine testing. start testing the main engine dead slow ahead stop dead slow astern stop immediately return the control to stop when the rpm start running so that the vessel will not move and you will not damage the mooring ropes Gangway, forward enough, main engine testing, finish. 
can start preparing the bow thruster but firstly we need to start the hydraulic unit as you can see the indicator ready to start but still we need to wait five to six minutes before we start the bow thruster now the bow thruster is ready to start and we press the bow thruster button This one will indicate that the bow thruster is ready to use. Also guys, don't forget to check if your air horn is still uh, on. So this is the power. Uh, everything is okay and on. You can choose four horn or up horn so that you can use this one for any emergency or sound blasting, air blast. Our EIS since we already updated this one yesterday we just need to final update the drop given by chipmate and the final drop is uh, 9.5 we just change the number to 9.5 up uh, just switch this arrow and then uh, enter so now our EIS already updated automatic identification system this is our Aldis lamp with 4 spare bulbs, the emergency battery and it is already connected to it and now we can test the Aldis lamp if still in good working condition so that we can use in any light signaling to the other vessel and to the fishing boat in the vicinity. Now as you can see light is in good working condition check your speed lag it's still in good working condition your GPS 1 and GPS 2 are all in good working condition then we need to check our gyro compass number 1 and 2 now our gyro compass 1 and 2 heading 294 and compare it to our radar x-band 294 and also to our radar S-band two nine four, and also we can compare it to our ECDIS. This is our slave ECDIS two nine four, and to our main ECDIS also two nine four. Now we see that our heading is correct. And we can also compare the gyro compasses to our gyro repeaters. This one is the center repeater, as you can see. The heading also 294. And then we will proceed to our gyro repeater port side into our bridge wing. This is our gyro repeater port side. So as you can see, also 294, correct. And then the last one, we will proceed to starboard repeater. Also on the starboard bridge wing. This is our gyro repeater starboard side so we will see as you can see also 294 heading so all heading compared to the gyro compass number one and two are all correct we can check also our window wiper if still in good working condition we can switch on the power and then press this one from port side, center, and starboard, so that uh, we can check the wiper. As you can see, 
wiper is running and good working switch on the center and starboard now all window wipers are in good working condition now we can switch this off all so guys mga kabaro, if you're already done preparing the bridge for departure main engine is ready all crew on board and uh, all stevedores and no more shore personnel on board all are disembarked we can call the pilot for the pilot disembarkation time and which side he will embark some port we don't need to call the pilot boarding time and the embarkation side of the pilot because the agent will arrange this one before the departure and the agent will inform us the pilot boarding time and the embarkation side of the pilot but in this port if everything is ready if the vessel is ready for departure we need to call the pilot for pilot boarding information so let's call the pilot and this is the sample for calling the pilot I'm Barley Pilot, I'm Barley Pilot Hey J Lord, good morning Good morning sir, uh, vessel uh, ready for departure What time pilot boarding, over? You are fully ready right now, correct? Yes, correct, vessel is uh, ready and everything is completed, cargo operation Okay, approximately 30 minutes pilot on board from shore side. Over. Copy that, sir. Pilot boarding in 30 minutes. Shore side, thank you. So, guys, Marmaro, that is how to prepare the bridge on departure, especially in this container vessel. Different ships, different kind of preparation, but most of the things that we do in this departure is almost the same. So, I hope you learned something from my video, guys. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe and hit the notification bell for my new videos. Until next time guys, see you on our arrival. Guys, mga kabaro, rock and roll si Manolo Yang!